Hello and welcome to a new video on Investo Global. Right now, I am in Cyprus. To be more specific, I'm in Northern Cyprus. What does that mean? Why Northern Cyprus? Well, because the island of Cyprus is divided into two countries. One of them is the southern part of Cyprus, which is actually the Greek part, and the other part is the northern part that covers about 30% of the island, and that is the Turkish part. How did that happen though? In 1973, the Cyprus Peace Movement took place, which divided the country into two parts. Now, the uh, Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, which is the formal name, has the capital of North Nicosia, uh, which we call Lefkosia in Turkish. Uh, its uh, official languages are actually Turkish and English. You will find a lot of people speak English here. And also Greek is a recognized language. So this country covers a total area of 3,355 square kilometers, and it offers a complete escape from the stresses of everyday life. Over half of the island's nearly 480 miles of scenic coastline, Northern Cyprus boasts countless picturesque bays, citrus groves, and white beautiful coves backed by historic harbors. There are many options available to beach lovers, whether swimming on the secluded stretches of sandy beaches of Karpas, enjoying the excellent facilities and activities of the beaches of private hotels, or snorkeling in one of the great diving sites of the region. In fact, it is not surprising that Julius Caesar gave the island to Cleopatra as a token of his love. This place smells like history and it looks astonishing. I mean, look at this castle. Right now, we're in front of the Kerenia Castle or Gine Karesi in Turkish. It is right at the harbor and it was actually built in the 7th century by the Byzantines to guard the city against the Arabic threat. So, see, we're at the harbor right now and somehow it makes me feel like I'm in Italy. It gives me this Italian vibe. Anyways, how did I end up here? How did I come to the northern part of Cyprus? Well, Cyprus' situation is a little bit different, so there's actually only two ways. And both ways, you have to come from Turkey. You either take the plane, which I did, or uh, you take the ferry again from Turkey. Either way, you definitely have to come through Turkey. No matter how much I talk about Cyprus and the situation here with the real estate, it's not going to be convincing enough unless I find somebody to talk about it. Now look who I met here. Why don't you introduce yourself, my friend? Hello, my name is uh, Johan and I'm from Sweden. Hello, my name is Nadia and I'm from Bulgaria but I live in Sweden. I was just walking around the harbor in front of the castle as you can see and I met those beautiful people and apparently they bought some real estate here. How did you end up in Cyprus in the first place? Why don't you tell me? Yeah, we had a friend from Sweden that already bought here and they took us down here and we looked around the island from different projects and uh, really found one place to really loved so we bought it. Okay, and when, when actually did that happen? When we, did you buy it? We bought it off plan in 2019 uh -huh. and it will be finished uh, next week. It will be finished next week? Yeah. So yeah. you bought it when it was uh, under construction? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so uh, without actually giving me numbers, did the value of the project that you actually bought, did it, uh, did it increase over time because you said three years ago and it's going to be finished next week? Yes, it will, it's about 200% increase what they're selling these apartments for now. 200% increase. That is even more than the numbers that I heard from real estate agencies. Interesting. So um, would you actually recommend people to come over to buy a property here? I mean, obviously you made some profit, but uh, I'm, I mean, in terms of the, the country itself, like why Cyprus? Because of the weather, mostly, because we're from Sweden and it's cold. <laughs> and here we have 320 days uh, of sun and it, it's a relaxed lifestyle here okay. and uh, yeah, good lifestyle for family. We have kids also, so that's really good. But when you're over here, don't you miss Ikea? <laughs> yes, but we can go. There's Ikea somewhere here as well. Okay, thank you guys so much for, uh, thank you. Thank for you giving me some time with you. Yeah. And I hope you enjoy your stay and I hope everything is thank fine you. here. Thank you. Have a good one. Thanks. Thank you.
Did I mention that it's the beginning of November and as you can see in the middle of the night I only have this shirt on. That says a lot about the weather in Cyprus because it is still very warm. I mean I've been inside the sea this morning. Right now I discovered something that made me very happy. We're in front of the statue of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk who's the founder of the Turkish Republic. Uh, some of you might not know that uh, the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus is a country on its own but it has obviously very strong ties to Turkey. With this statue, which is a proof for what I just said, it says underneath it uh, the famous sentence of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, Yurtta sul, Cihanda sul, which in Old Turkish basically means peace at home and peace in the world. By the way, I haven't mentioned that we're in the district of Girne, which is basically the most popular place to come in all of northern Cyprus. Uh, it is well known for its nightlife and nice beaches. Right now we're in front of the harbor. We get the fresh breeze, fresh air from the, from the sea. And we're in front of a very, very, maybe the most popular club here. Uh, Cyprus has a total of 40 clubs and also some casinos, but I want to talk uh, about the casinos when we're in front of one, so let's go. We can't talk about Cyprus without talking about the casinos. We just can't because anywhere you go, you will see a hotel that has a casino right next to it or inside it. And this one is a very, very good example. Thanks for ruining the video with your music. I hope you don't get late in two years. I really hope. This country of Northern Cyprus has a total population of 380,000. Yeah, it is a country that has a total population of almost 400,000 and it's a country on its own and what's interesting is is that has that it has a total of 32 casinos for you to understand in comparison to Las Vegas Las Vegas has a total of 63 casinos so that means this country uh, has more than half of the casinos uh, of Vegas now I think that is enough to form your own opinion guys Bitcoin accepted here? That's weird. I don't know if I'm old fashioned, but I traveled quite a lot and I haven't seen a single place that actually accepted Bitcoin in a store. Cryptocurrency is taking over. On the way here, we saw a lot of casinos, but I gotta be honest, I was about to go in, but I'm very hungry, I'm starving. Uh, I had a lot of people recommend me this place, Nyazis. Apparently, they got the best meat in Cyprus. They're very popular. Uh, I'm curious, not only because I'm hungry, but also uh, I might wanna see the difference between Turkish food and Cypriot food. If there are some differences, I will definitely tell you, but let's go in. Uh, it was a big challenge to wait for everything to arrive and start shooting. I am literally starving, guys. We got some uh, white thin bread, all different kinds of appetizers. As you can see, we got some salad, yogurt, uh, eggplant, and different kinds of meat, um, some cheese. I literally, I can't wait anymore. So I'm sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. Not gonna wait for you, Mr. Cameraman. <laughs> In the seventh century, sorry, let me do that again. Plot twist, we're in Italy. <laughs> Did I mention that we're. No, once again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Huh? <laughs> 